To the scientist, baseball is very simple. It comes down to one word, more important than ball or strike or even the word out. Baseball comes down to physics. Whether you realize it or not, physics is, are the rules of the game, the rules of nature. And um, these baseball players, whether they quote unquote know physics or taking a physics book or not, they're using science all the time. Paul Robinson is a high school teacher who knows the value of a curveball. He uses baseball to teach his students about physics, showing them how events on the field are dictated by scientific principles, like how a pitcher without a cannon uses a curveball to dominate. Yeah, pitchers like Kirk Reeder, Sean Estes that rely on curveballs uh, as opposed to overpowering stuff uh, are very in tune with physics of baseball. And why does a curveball curve? Well, this is an example of Bernoulli's principle. That's the same effect that makes planes fly. In this special case, it's called the Magnus effect. And the Magnus effect uses air pressure to put pressure on a batter. But it really uh, comes down to a difference in pressure on one side and the other caused by the spin of the ball. The more you make it spin, the thicker the air, then the more the effect. And the more the effect, the bigger the curve. But what if the curve doesn't curve quite well enough? And that brings us to force. Force, uh, or net force, is what causes motion. So when a bat hits a ball, OK, the greater the force, the greater the distance. Speed of the ball and the angle it's hit at are the most important thing. And someone like Barry Bonds knows a lot about force. Now, in the old days, this was done with big bats. Babe Ruth, you know, 54-ounce bat, huge bat. Nowadays, uh, hitters like Barry Bonds, for example, use a much smaller bat. And so what really matters is bat speed, not bat weight. So if someone like Barry gets a juicy curveball but doesn't quite have the bat speed, he meets our next concept, friction. Friction is a big part of the game. And while friction is merciless, it is fair. Friction causes the pitch to slow down on the way to the plate, but it also slows it down while it's in the air. So what is friction and how does it work? The ball has to push the air out of the way, just like if you're swimming in water, you have to push some of that water out of the way as you swim through it. The ball has to push the air out of the way. So now you see that baseball, while played by athletes, is ruled by physics. And it's physics that unlocks the mysteries of why baseball is such a beautiful sport.